Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. My name is Buckle, the storyteller of Uncanny Valley Cancer Cell. To those of you who joined us last week for our premiere episode, thank you so much for coming back. And to anyone who's joining us for the very first time tonight, a quick recap. Last week, we met our protagonists the cast and crew of TV's newest ghost-hunting reality TV show, Paranormal Quest. Vic is the host. Darla is the psychic. Mason is the cameraman. Dr. Wolf is the parapsychologist. And JD is the stuntman. Having filmed the very first episode in St. Vincent's Lunatic Asylum, they find themselves trapped in a tunnel beneath the building. What unknown horrors lie there, we may soon find but are still unknown. As always, we're going to be here live in the chat with you, so if you have any questions, comments, or if you'd just like to get to know me and the players better, feel free to chime in. Otherwise, sit back, relax, and enjoy Uncanny Valley Cancer Cell. In this world, nightmares lurk. They hide in our neighborhoods, walk our streets, wear our faces, but they are not us. They are the world's best kept secret, and we are going to find them. Welcome to Uncanny Valley Cancer Cell. One hundred years ago, in what would one day be Manaskis, Nebraska, a naive architect built a hospital for the incurably insane. Five hundred years before that, a wise advisor warned a prospector against settling on cursed ground. And five thousand years before that, millions of drops of water fused themselves to carbon dioxide and fell onto a fractured bed of limestone. The cosmos spun, and acid ate its fill of broken minerals, crawling down, 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 into the shuddering darkness. And no god or spirit ever wondered, ever cared, how it was broken in the first place. Whether by the foot of some primordial horror, or from the chaotic machinations of the volcanic earth itself, no being ever spared a thought for why this section of the universe should be slowly devoured by weak acid. And if any of you had the inclination to ask, you would find only the silent stones can answer. They're not all old enough to remember, and they do not normally speak the mortal tongues, but occasionally they still serve as worthy messengers. And on this day, in the land that is presently called Manaskis, Nebraska, a stone lays in your path. In a tunnel which goes down, down, down into the blackest depth. And with its weight, it holds a message, scribbled in marker on a torn scrap of hospital sheet. You're all gathered here, where we left off last week, huddled around this lifeless warning. What do you want to do? This is diners, uh, drive-ins, and dives. <laughs> I would like to flip on my camera and walk up to the note, if I've noticed it, on the thing. Yeah, it, you've all noticed it. We'll get it lit up and let's have a look. I'd like to read it if I can. If not, let's have one of our stars go for it. Uh, Vic, uh, seeing that the camera has been turned on, I'm sure there's like a little light mm. for, the, uh, for the night vision and all that. He immediately gets into frame. And and sets himself up to to be the first to read uh, uh read the note. Uh, Can I crowd in sort of beside him? Get some contesting dexterity rolls. How big is this hallway? <laughs> it's, you know, at the place you are, it's fairly large. It's about six by six feet by about six feet tall. But as you go deeper, it seems like to get smaller and more. Get over there. I'll just physically. It gets push. smaller and more organic. You can see ahead of you. Um, so there's plenty of room. So I just want to, uh, I see that he's going for it, 
And so I'm going to just sort of book it <laughs> and then like book it until I'm on in the view of the camera and then slow down like it's a normal walk, you know? <laughs> Too late. They can hear you from off camera. Just call, 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 call. call. <laughs> JD will bite his time. Well, we'll t- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the things we're going to have to fix in post-production in this film. <laughs> okay, so uh, are, do, you, do you want to contest for it? How about, let's, uh, let's just do a straight D10 roll between you Ooh. and Darla to see who gets there first. Cram, man. Because she did say she was uh, running. I do, hold on, I have Greyhound, though. What? No, That's he does for it. chases. Fine. This is just a straight roll, dude. Yeah. Six. Seven. Fuck. Ooh, Ooh girl. bitch. <laughs> so... Against all odds, Victor reaches down for the sheet and Darla snatches it out of his fingertips, like right out from under so him. It, he, he has a face that says a word, and the way, and the word is asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I go, oh, look, it's a no! <laughs> hey, uh, uh, hey, everybody, Darla found a note. Read it, read it, Darla. The world wants to know Darla. All right, I look at the note. Behind the camera, note. Jake is I, uh, just shaking his head. I, I apologize. I had to change the context of the note, but I will allow you to read it. Oh, God. Mm. If I can have to do, like, concentration checks sometimes uh, to keep the camera on. You're going to have to do concentration checks to keep from laughing over her lines. Yeah, I know. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Reese, take care. The tunnels are not safe. I pulled back the drywall and an eye stared back at me. A giant blinking eye. You have to come in the back, through the cells. Please, do as I tell you. Just this once. It's not what we thought. I'm taking Cleo to the safe rooms. The ones in the city that people don't know about. I'm taking her and I'm taking Kip and I'm sitting in that fucking horrible place until I know it's safe. Until you come back. Please hurry. Please, please, please. I'm so hungry. A cry for help. Warnings of danger. Could this be all that remains of this mystery here in St. Vincent's Mental Asylum? John, can you give me a craft roll, please? Craft? (laughs) Whatever. Well, he just Hold uh, on, we'll take that from the top. Craft plus... Uh, craft plus uh, dexterity. Okay. He just pulled an unplanned whip pan on you, so I want to see if you catch it. Mm, was that a nine or six? Bam. What do you think? That is a six. Okay. And then I have one success. Um, he's in frame, but it's not great. Okay. <laughs> um, may I uh, do like an unseen sense acting. on this area? We have yeah, seen some spooky stuff I'd like to know. Uh, unseen sense plus, what would you say? Uh, unseen sense, occult, and um, presence. That's your psychic ability, right? Uh, I, I'm not psychic. Mm. It's it's a, it's a different sort of deal. I was using something that Dan is using, but we found a more appropriate feat. Oh, yeah. cool. What I'm using is uh, Eye for the Strange. Nice. Which is... I'm going his, to his character has a little bit more knowledge than a lot of you do, so this is representative of that sort of intuitive mm-hmm. sense of Two. what's going on. Two? Two successes. All right. Um... Well, you recognize from your uh, previous experience this uh, sort of musky, unpleasant uh, scent of a werewolf. Hmm. Okay. Good. I know that. (laughs) (laughs) You know what a werewolf smells like? I do. Oh. Huh. But But you you don't don't know know that yet. You don't know that he knows what a werewolf smells like. (laughs) So what does it smell like for the rest of us? Musky, musky. It, it it smells like musky. like damp, earthy, like air, moist air. Ugh. But what he detects is a sort of wet animal smell underneath. Mm. I suppose you all would probably interpret it as like mold or just a mildewy kind of smell. Uh, I would like to reiterate that I was never brought a mask for covering up my mouth. Do I have another bandana? No. Okay. Not with a five, you don't. Um, so, and don't worry, if I had one, I wouldn't give it to her. <laughs> Wolf is actually, he's been, Wolf's going to tap been, Vic on the shoulder. Hmm? Uh, hey. And he holds out his, the handkerchief that uh, Mason gave him earlier. You want this? Uh, yes, please. 
Yeah, here. Yeah. Thank you. He, he just uh, nonchalantly just sort of like takes it and just like wraps it around his mouth and just like has it ready to pull down for whenever whenever the next shot is. Yeah, Wolf just kind of lights up a cigarette. <laughs> so, like, how far should we go down here? And he, look, um, he looks to Mason. Where's the prop set up? Okay, so first things first. I don't think that this is a good place to uh, have the cigarette smoke because that's going to get in the way of my shot. Oh, and we sorry, don't know sorry. how sealed this space is, so finish your drag and put it out, please. Also, uh, secondhand smoke kills. Us. Let me tell you. Sorry, sorry. I talked to a lot of people who, you know, lost a loved one to secondhand smoke. Even the menthols aren't good. He puts, it out, the, your... he puts it out at the bottom of his flip-flop. Sorry. To answer your question, I don't know anything about this basement. I'm as blind as the rest of you. Uh, all right. Presumably. I mean, they should have told somebody about this setup if they're going to make it this. Do you think that any of those guys were professional enough to actually explore this whole space? <laughs> you know what? Come to think of it, have we told anyone that we're down here? No. Oh. Where's the director? I mean, they know we're here. He's fucking off in a camper somewhere. Yeah, probably. Probably some PA. Maybe, maybe boy PA. I don't know. He looks bored. Well, I mean, they left. We that know they left. German. It doesn't mean he's gay. What? But we're expected to be here in film, so let's be here in film. Yeah. If they're not gonna do shit, we need to make the money. So let's they go. left. They left some notes around. Let's just follow the notes until there's no more notes. <laughs> they probably have a. Spooky spider to drop out of something. I mean, maybe he's yeah, just trying spooky. to make it more realistic if we're not in the know. So it's more genuine. I'm going to take a shot down this hallway. You are all welcome to follow me. And I'm just going to flick on the <clears throat> camera and go. Uh, well, wait, wait. Let, let, let us walk in front of you just like so we can get a group shot. Mm-hmm. I will kind of have just like the K2 on. <laughs> and like, I, I'd like to <laughs> just for me. I'd like to repeat that role every now and then. All right. Yeah. I'll, all right. So for this section, uh, we'll do sort of a passage of time. Um, mm-hmm. The the area you're going into is a sort of labyrinthine and very large area that is kind of unremarkable. There's not a lot of you know landmarks or things to go by. So, so you're telling us we should split the party. No, I'm <laughs> telling you I'm going to have all of you do a sort of investigation role as you are walking. And for every role you do, we'll call it 10 minutes of walking. Okay. And you all can tell me when you want to stop. Can I do instead of investigation, sense for the strange? Or I for the strange? I for the strange? Yes, you can. You said just straight of investigation role? This yeah. Apply. Investigation wits? Yeah, investigation yeah, you can intelligence? Okay. Just straight investigation? Investigation wits. We'll call it wits. Oh, investigation wits. Yeah. Since this is about you guys detecting things around you, not knowing something ahead of time. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Um, One (laughs) success for Wolf. One success for uh, Darla. Two successes for JD. Is that a a six again? I don't know if it's a six or a nine, but relative. If the six is to the, or if the zero is to the right, it's a six. That's a six. And if it's to the left, it's a nine. Okay, I have two successes. Oh, percentile dice. Two successes. Good old percentile dice. All right, um, none of you notice anything noteworthy. As you walk, it begins as a, as a clay and earthen tunnel, and very shortly, about 30 feet after the end of the wooden structure ends, about 30 feet after that, it turns into a sort of limestone cave. And uh, you all sort of go deeper and deeper, and strangely, it kind of levels horizontal and becomes essentially a tunnel, which narrows and widens in organic and strange shapes. Your headlamps as you walk cast unsettling shadows that move around the rippled edges of the cave. Water drips intermittently from an unseen source further in. And it's it's all around. It's very creepy. But you don't see anything living or anything unusual. Hmm. Okay. Would you like to continue? <clears throat> would like to. Yeah. 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 Investigate again or yeah. can I do that instead? That the first you section. can do either. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, my dice are shit. Ooh. Ooh. Two successes. Um so oh. is it again? one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, exceptional. And then mm. I only got nice. two. Mm. 
I got uh, zero for Darla. Mm. Five for uh, Jade. 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 Three <laughs> off of one dice. <laughs> okay. For unseen sounds. All right, so um, you all are walking down. Who got more than three? I know you got, JD got five. I and got three. Mason got three. Wolf, what did you get? Dos. Two? <clears throat> all right, so I'll start with you. So, um, Mason, when you were walking, you were looking very, with a, a focus. Mm-hmm. You have a, an inclination about what you're looking for. Um, what you find, and you're not entirely sure what to make of this, is that uh, around the, the lower center of this tunnel, uh, the water and all of the, the sort of dirt and that, that sort of detritus all gathers. It's mostly stone that you're walking on, but in the center there is a small little almost trickle of water that continuously goes down and indeed has created this cave. Mm-hmm. And um, as you are walking, you happen to notice a... At first, since you are expecting werewolves, you think it's the pad of a foot, but as you look closer, you see it is it is just the front half of a human footprint. Hmm. And uh, JD... As you're walking, your KT meter does start to go into the yellow. Mm. Uh, would I notice that happening with yeah, it's successes? Yeah, uh, well, were you in front or behind a JD? Oh, uh, I, I'm going to say that Vincent is going to, or, or is Vic, sorry. Uh, Vic is going to be uh, in front at any given opportunity. All right, then you don't notice. No. Okay. Uh, what about me? I'm Wolf is making sure he's in the back. He's a big guy. He doesn't want to block anything okay yeah this is not a bad time let's establish order here All so, right, so order. Vic is bringing up the front <laughs> Wolf is hanging around the back anyone have a particular feeling about where they are oh Darla's definitely up front with Vic okay I'm, I'm in the middle to get those hams Vic would be right behind those two biding his time JD are you Vic now Oh no. Yes. Also Vic. <laughs> Does it give me more screen time? I am also Vic. Too many. We're Vicks. all Vic here. <laughs> all right. So it is Darla and Vic side by side at the front, flanked by JD, Mason behind, getting a shot of the three of them, and Wolf hanging at the back. Yeah. I won't stir up John's. Which Mason. means that Mason and Wolf, both of you notice JD's K2 meter going off, as well as obviously <clears throat> JD himself. Can I please get that in a shot? I'm, yeah. I'm not going to yeah, ask it's in your permission. App. I just figured that's that's a good camera. You should probably start uh, like preparing a shot list of just like things picked up on camera. Sure. As like an idea. Yeah, that's fair. Mm-hmm. I mean, if it's if it's evidence which you feel could be useful later, then certainly note it down. But yeah, I'm going to say you get that in your shot for free because you're already framing the three of them, which is a wider angle. And uh, JD's K2 meter would have been in his hand. It definitely would have been in frame. What, is, uh, what does JD do about that, noticing that? Well, this is the point where JD starts to get a little creeped out and a little bit less worried about what's happening with the show. All right. Can I, get, <laughs> can I zoom in on your face? Because you're doing some real good acting, buddy. <laughs> acting. <laughs> okay, uh the by the by, uh just while we're walking. Uh sometimes uh, homeless people take up shelter in uh old abandoned places like this. Does anyone happen to have any pepper spray or anything on them? Uh, uh, I, uh I I took three lessons in judo. Can I roll for that? Yeah. I have well, a lot of stuff. I can tell you, you have you have weapons. You have prop like rubber weapons, yes. and you also have, have what stuff. they call hero weapons, which are the actual mm-hmm. things. And I have noted on your sheet yes. uh, the ones you have, yes. real ones up. So this would be a time when you could bring that up. Well, kind of chuckles. I mean, I, I have. Could, I could throw my weight like around. Stuff. Huh? I could. I could point? throw my weight around. I'm not like. Built for okay. fighting. Oh, so y'all... I don't think, I don't think I'd have pepper spray for ghosts. Okay. Oh, you mean like this? And, and Darla pulls out her pink camo taser. <laughs> well... I sorry, could, this on me. Could thing. you say that louder? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> she goes... Darla goes, Oh, you mean like this? And she pulls out her pink camo taser. And she hands, sort of like hands it. 
Hands it over. I keep this on me at all times. You never know where you're gonna need it. Wolf good. blinks a few times and just goes, that is the most southern thing I think I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, do you think somebody's down here? Uh, I mean, no. If but it's it, probably some PA that's, you know, but just going to jump out of nowhere. You don't want to pepper spray the kid. It pays to know how safe I can be given the people I'm working with. Well, if he scares the shit out of me, I can't be held liable for what I'm going to do. Let yeah. me just tell you. <laughs> let, let me just reiterate that I am also not liable for anything she does. <laughs> Listen, boys, you never can be too careful when you're a lady, so... <laughs> it's true, we live in a hellscape. We do indeed, Mr. Wolf, Dr. Wolf, Doctor. sorry, excuse it's me. It's cool. Yeah. Uh, so, sorry if I, you know, taser PA, I don't mean it, it's just, you know... I get scared. <laughs> I don't mean to taser him. <laughs> so do you want me to walk out front because I have the weapon? Uh, whatever you guys well, prefer. Right I, I, I have this. He pulls the, the, the bat that's on his back <laughs> off. I mean, that's that's technically a weapon. V- if we're just, worried no, about... No, I, I just precautionary okay. knowledge. Precautionary <laughs> knowledge. Strap back on his back. I, I just want to point out that uh, that... that Mason has strong suspicion that there is werewolf activity down here, yeah. and he is saying nothing. Yeah. And in fact, he is pushing us forward. Well, I'm trying to see what we could do, but I don't think you guys can handle that information. So, <laughs> no, I'm fair gonna, enough. I'm yeah, gonna, saying I think there's I'm, werewolves down here is probably not. <laughs> he's also the best pro- way to broach it. Maybe get your shots and leave. He's also a professional, guys. <laughs> he's not entirely sure that. That you know, it's not just the 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 team playing a joke. I mean, I'm sure he he smells the werewolves and he thinks, "Huh, that might be bad." But it also, yeah. uh, well, I I'm my my thought is that Mason's hoping we can just get in, get our shit, and get out, leave whatever it is alone. He is also surrounded by assholes who are like, "Oh, come on, there's no such thing." So I don't yeah. blame him. We 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 very we very. Uh... We've, we've, we've determined that we don't believe that anything's going on. Yeah. Well, I give a... Even if we might think a little bit of something is going on. Yeah. Well, Darla gives the, uh, the the taser a good crackle. She goes, don't worry, I'll protect you. <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, can everyone roll me just a straight wits check, please? Oh, wits. Sure. One success. That would be one success. No success. One, two, three, all eights. Ooh. Mm. No successes. All right. So uh, those of you with one or fewer successes, um, you all really are only paying attention to Darla brandishing her taser. But Mason, you hear a very familiar sound to you. Um, You hear the soft scratch and and sort of padding noise of a four-legged creature running um, distantly through the tunnels. Does it sound like it's getting closer? Um, would you like to make another roll and wait? <laughs> like, wait and listen? Make a judgment? Uh, uh, yeah. All right. Using what? Um, let's do, let's do wits and, or no, let's do intelligence and a cult for this. You can't really tell. It's very distant. Okay. Um, so he got no successes. Yes. Yeah. I our... just. To be fair, you were lucky. Oops, you were lucky to hear it at all over the noise of the taser. Yeah. Hey. Uh, hey guys, I think I might have left something back up at the. T- How far have we gone? You've gone about a hundred feet down. Okay. You guys mind going back real quick? I think I left a piece of equipment up there. We might not be recording correctly. Oh. What, what do you mean? What? This is you don't use anything Equipment. else, do you? Do you? No, like I, I'm about to run out of uh, tape on the camera, and I'd like to go I, back up real I quick. I don't think that's how that works. Aren't they all digital these days? That's yeah. what I was thinking. Uh, like, it's gonna max out soon. Could I roll empathy? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, we are looking at. Four successes. Shit. You really, you know, Mason, how do you feel right now? 
I'm very concerned for the well-being of these other human beings around me because there's something scary coming, and I don't think we can handle it. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I'll come with you. Sure, let's go. Come on, we'll do a big group thing. Mason, I, you know, I didn't mean to scare you with my taser. I, I don't use I mean, it. It I just. Mean, we can, we can look and find the next clue or whatever, and. I'll come back with the tape. We have flashlights. It's not yeah. a big deal. Yeah, as long as one other person stays down here, I mean, I mean we, we can have, stay down. I can stay down here. We, we have clothes. to. We have. We're gonna be here for a while still. So no. Like, like I said, sometimes there's people in places you don't expect. You don't want to be here alone. No. Okay. Fine. Well, I mean, I'll stay. You can That's stay. Okay. Yeah. People. I'll just have Darla. If I could, I just kind of project my voice a bit and just. Mm-hmm. People that don't mean any harm and should be left alone. Well, as you say that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. The, the, I um, agree. We shouldn't tase any PAs that are down here. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. This is... So I'll, let me paint the scene for you a little bit here. You're all standing in a stalagmite-filled tunnel, rather small, about six feet where you're standing. And then further ahead of you, it widens a bit to more of a 10 to 12 foot area. And then about 100 feet behind you, uphill, in a very wet and slimy tunnel, are the stairs back to the facility you came from. And as you're all standing there dithering, one of the large uh, stalactites to your uh, left abruptly cracks and bursts out in a shower of shattered pieces of limestone. And um, you all become aware in this moment that that, in fact, was another tunnel which had been obscured by the formation in this cave. And a large, hairy beast bursts out of it. Uh, okay, do we need to, like, roll any sanity checks or something? Yeah, Yeah. Um, I think all of you should roll a... This is going to be fun. This will yeah. be our first integrity roll. Yay! Yay. <laughs> all of you... Integrity. Everyone should roll a however many dots of integrity. You should all have seven oh. right now. Okay. So you'll roll like, seven oh. dice. All of in, you? In, in Integrate. Um, you know, Mason, I'll give you a pass, actually. You knew this was coming, and you've had previous experience. Okay. Uh, one success. Two, three. I got two successes. All you need is one, folks. Yay. All right. All you need Good. is Good. You one. all don't have a breaking point. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> It's not a hard role to succeed at this point. It becomes harder as you all become less um, sane. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm sure in this moment, uh, no, uh, go ahead. Sorry, no. In this moment, Vic would probably look at that and go, "Wow, I can't believe that they got some of the special effects from Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights into our show." But right now, it's like being at Halloween Horror, and 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 he is. Officially freaked out. Um, JD's running. Okay. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> Towards or Amazing. away? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Would He's I be running. Would I be aware <laughs> if most werewolves in the United States would speak English? Oh, they absolutely do. Okay. Uh, can I try and just calm it down? Just be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, we didn't mean to intrude on your house. You can do that after all of your roll initiative. I'm, oh. I'm going to be running whichever direction uh, it is not. Um, so it is. It's not yet. It's not. Think of it as sort of a T intersection. Yeah. It, you can go either way, deeper or back no. up. No. Um, ah, but you do I have to initiative. make a choice. I got a one. Ah. What's, what's initiative? <laughs> what is initiative? Oh. Sorry. Initiative. initiative is composure and dexterity. You roll one die and add those dots together. And then... Oh, you roll one die and then... What? Yeah. Add that number? Yeah. What? Okay. So in you, the instance yeah. of me, I rolled an 8, so I have a 13. Oh. All right. I rolled a oh. 10, so I have a 14. Okay, I see. So what do I add to it again? 13. Sorry. So it's Your initiative. A dexterity plus composure mm-hmm. is my initiative modifier. So You can do the top-down categorizing. So okay. So it'll be... Composure, two. Yeah, so Steven wits, has a whopping three. four total so initiative. Okay. I am composure so salty. Dexterity. Okay, composure. Brutal. Plus speed. Dex, dexterity, how is two. Your, how's your initiative, composure, two. Two. 
So My initiative's one. three, thank you. Or you're, fine, how'd you get three initiative? He rolled a it's, one. Yeah. He rolled a one. It's not so plus B. Four. Oh. So it's four. You're plus lucky there aren't roll. critical failures uh, in initiative rolls. God damn it. Garrett, mm. take your glass to the table. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah. Shame, shame. Uh, so that would be six for me. Yeah. And Mason, you had? Thirteen. Thirteen. So JV and Mason are on the same turn. I'm 14. Oh, you're 14. So 13, 14. You were 15, Vic, right? 13. 13. Ah, so Mason and Victor are on the same turn. Um, JD is before, then Darla is after, and um, Wolf is last. So JD, you're up first. JD's running. What direction? (laughs) Uh, Deeper or up up the stairs? Whichever direction it is not. It's, I'm telling you, it's a T and intersection. Is it, is, it, is, it, is it perfectly in front of me? Yeah, it's basically <clears throat> right beside your little clustered group where you were all talking. Okay. So really, it's just a question of where JD feels safer, <clears throat> going uphill to what was a more secure location, or downhill, which would be <clears throat> faster, but to an unknown I'm, location. I'm going to high-low it. All right. All right, we're going to let the dice decide. All right. Low, low, low is deeper, high is... Is uh, nice, shallow. Nice, 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 nice. That's low. Oh, just barely. Oh. Yes. Five. That's on the low side. It's technically, time to get into so, that thing. So you're running deeper <laughs> yes. into the tunnel. Oh man. I love it. I love he's it. He's not. He's not consciously running one direction or the other. He's no, just. I, I love that. That's leaving. Super real. <laughs> so JD. Um. So your. What's your movement? Uh, thirteen. All right, pretty good. So you move a good distance down into the tunnel. And I'm going to say you go ahead and move. You move pretty fast. You move a good 15 feet because it is downhill. Yeah. So you get some momentum. You can't convince me he doesn't just fucking Naruto run it. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, If that's what's fastest, absolutely. Which brings us to um, Victor and Mason's turn. Which of you has the higher dex? I have a dexterity of two. Uh, I also have a dexterity of two. All right, who has the higher wits? <laughs> I, have a dex, uh, I have a wits of three. Set. I have a wits of three. Oh, oh you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Come on, this is, no, let's this go. Is, this is my highest ghost set coming in. Yeah, okay, roll off. Highest all right, all right, highest ghost. One. And these just like generic white Six. man stuff. Okay. All right, so Seven. Victor goes first. Okay, so uh, I I kind of want to do the panic and roll thing like what Mike did, but... Uh, I, knowing Vic in this moment, he he immediately jumps behind the the big cameraman and just is just crying no and just like you can feel him <laughs> gr- giving this death grip on, on the back of your uh, on on the back of your shirt and it's just like his immediate idea is just like no get behind the person who's bigger than me. <laughs> well, there aren't many people in this group, so you chose correctly. <laughs> Mason, what are you doing? Okay, um, I'd like to try my best. To defuse the situation, we are intruders on his space. Um, should be like, uh, I don't know what clan he might be from. Maybe I'd know that. Maybe I wouldn't. But Probably not. At the very least, I should be like, um, whoa, friend werewolf, trust me, I know about your people and we didn't need... To intrude on your space. I didn't know it was your space. I'm very sorry. We'll be leaving. Please don't attack us. Uh, as this is going on, uh, Vic is uh, it is like looking between him and the werewolf, who to him looks quite real. But the way the cameraman is acting, he's thinking, oh, is this part of the show? <laughs> Can I roll empathy what? to see if, the, if what is going on here is genuine? I- Go for it. Sweet. You didn't really do uh, an action in your by turn. The, by, so. I probably didn't turn off the camera, and it's probably on the ground next to my feet. Hopefully it didn't get damaged. I um, probably just dropped it when this happened. It's probably okay. Uh, we'll, we'll figure out later if the, the lens is damaged or anything. Okay. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that. It is still it's running. going to be honest. <laughs> on the ground. It's, it's, okay, so, uh, so wits and empathy. Um, That'd be good. That'd be good. <laughs> we could use that. It would be a social. So let's say empathy and presence. It's like in what we do in the shadows in the werewolves attack the camera guy. <laughs> he like run, he like gets pulled off the screen. Oh dang! Wow, that's three zeros, yep. fam. Uh, oh, four shit. successes. Oh shit. shit! Um, all right, Mason, how are you feeling right now? I'm once again 
incredibly concerned for the lives of everyone here, and I'm doing my very best to defuse this situation with this beast that I'm aware is very much more powerful than us physically. And I'm intrinsically knowing that we could all die if this isn't handled properly. So Vic realizes that that fear is genuine. Yeah, I'm, I'm scared. Well, you realize two things, two important facts. You realize that this is real, that Mason knows it's real, but also you notice that Mason is very composed in this moment, and he is not actually surprised at the thing that is here, merely that that thing is present. Okay. Um, Vic is a very skeptical person, and so he's he, he signed on to host a ghost show when he has no belief in ghosts. So now, when <laughs> there's a giant wolf monster here... I think that he's going to remain right behind the uh, right behind the person who looks like he kind of knows what's going on here. Uh, but nevertheless, he's going to stay behind him and just be like, "What the hell are you doing? What is that?" Yeah, hands are staying here. He, hands are staying at your at your back. They have not released at all. Sure, and uh, watching its every movement very intently because. You... As my understanding, these things are like nine feet tall and built like a brick shit house, so they yeah. can just take my head off with one of these. As, you... as someone familiar, you recognize that he is fully transformed. Yeah. There are different stages of transformation where yeah. they are different stages of human to wolf ratio. He is fully in his wolf form right now. Yeah. Are you doing like the Chris Pratt like like raptor like like calming motion? I'm dressed kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> Only now you. And you're just like whoa 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 whoa. I got the I got whoa, the whoa, what was, it, what was he like doing the shorts with the little vest? Yeah, yeah maybe like a hat. Dress shirt. I don't remember. Yeah. Oh, but now only just like put this little douchebag behind, which is kind of like what is All that? Right. So um, that makes the werewolf's turn. Uh, so he was he came through the wall at a leap. Oh. Okay. And he lands rather hard and, and slides a bit. His, his claws dig into the ground to slow him. Um, and Mason, I'm going to let you notice this for free. Your full attention is on him. He seems a bit... Um, he sort of pauses in what was clearly a, a movement of action. And he does look at you in the eyes. And you can tell that he heard and he understood what you communicated. And he looks and he notices JD further down the, the tunnel. And he does a very peculiar thing to you, Mason. To everyone else, it's probably just a beast. But Mason, you notice this is kind of an unusual thing. He leaps to the upward side of this tunnel and then snarls and, and roars and, and bites his teeth at you. In, in, in a in a intimidation roll. So everyone, please roll. Oh God, composure. What, what would it? you do to resist an intimidation roll, Stephen? Composure. I and... would go resolve composure. Yeah. yeah, resolve composure. What if you're not looking at him? Yeah. Okay, JD. Well, <laughs> roll against the noise he's making because that's okay. going to be pretty horrific on its own. Okay. Um, I got one success. Uh, Wolf got two successes. Uh, I got a catastrophic failure. Dose for JD. M- Mason got two successes. Uh, Garrett, did you roll one. a one? I rolled a one with no successes. <laughs> oh dear. All right. <laughs> You're right so, behind me, huh? Yeah, I'm right behind you. So me. all of you, um, holding on to you, in fact, take the condition um, terrified, and yes. Okay. No, no, including me because I got I actually succeeded. Yeah, it was it was a difficulty three. Oh, okay. He rolled three. Sorry, we kicked all of our asses. <laughs> what about, does so anything what special if happen to me? You weren't looking at him. <laughs> so um, the most of you, this is this is a, a short term terrify um you all will run away directly away from him in your next action but the turn after that not a problem (laughs) (laughs) but the turn after that you all come back to your senses vic um you will have a more persistent terrify and um, you will have a sort of minus one onto any combat rolls you choose to take Um, any rolls other than to run away for um the rest of the scene gotcha also you shit your pants is it possible that I'm composed enough to snatch the camera on my way out? No, I don't think so. <clears throat> okay, camera's just going to see there. Is it possible the camera's watching us run away? You know, let me roll just for you. Just fucking... It'd be dramatic. Just... 
Yeah, it is. Okay, it's going to catch us all running Hell down yes. into the depths. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be a Jiggy movie. Good no, play. Play. Oh my gosh, it's going to be a horror movie. <laughs> oh, and it only hears the roar, so we're still good. <laughs> it's still vague enough. But if we run away from this werewolf, how are we going to get that camera back? I don't fucking know. That's not the problem right now. <laughs> That's a later to, problem. I just didn't know Diana. how you anticipated my next action already. No, we're all sprinting <laughs> down. JD is already ahead of everybody. So all of you run further into the tunnel towards JD. JD, you are still ahead of them and running. <laughs> uh, quick question. If this is a chase, where does my greyhound factor into this? Uh, your Greyhound would factor in to, if you are chasing them and they succeed at a roll to escape, you would get to um, continue chasing them even when they otherwise would get away. Gotcha. Okay. That's what Greyhound I thought, it, I thought it was a two-way sort of deal. Um, I don't think so. I think it's purely for tracking someone else. Gotcha. Now, it will come in handy in the show. Do not doubt. Oh, I'm sure it will. <laughs> it will come in handy when you all are just a little bit more knowledgeable than you are now. Mm. So um, I'm just going to like fast track this. You all run. Yeah. Um, does anyone look back? I do. I, <laughs> if, if I can, I will. Yeah, I would say Darla would. Yeah, maybe after the terrified ends, after I've moved some distance because I hear feet behind me. Yeah, I think it's totally natural for you all to, to be trying to keep awareness of the thing behind you. So that means all of you see... All of you see... From the the dark side of the tunnel where the werewolf burst from, uh, three large bolts of light that come by one at a time. <laughs> Two of them miss, and one hits the the werewolf roughly in its shoulder, and the the werewolf sort of um, does that sort of dog like grunting whining noise of an animal in pain, and um, sort of shudders with the blow. Yelp. And that, and that came from the opposite end of the tunnel? That came from the place where the war- werewolf came from. Oh. oh. Mm. Time for warp factor three. It might <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the werewolf's being chased by something even scarier than a werewolf. I love this great. Scooby-Doo moment where we're being chased by something that is also being chased by something else. All we need is like a room, like a hallway full of yeah. doors. Yeah. No, that's, that's the thing to happen. Run DM, run, everybody. I'm just going to say, you all were warned. <laughs> <laughs> Is Wolf sh- is Wolf sh- uh, Shaggy or Scooby? Uh, definitely Shaggy. Yeah, you're definitely Shaggy. <laughs> definitely wait, wait, shaggy. wait! You're you're Wolf being chased by a wolf who oh, might Jesus. be being chased by another wolf. <gasps> Mind blowing! Whoa! Am I fucking Fred or is he fucking Fred? Uh, I think he's Fred. I, I'm I'm a pretty shitty Fred. <laughs> Well, but you're always first in the building. Wait, so you're always Scooby? trying to tell people. What <laughs> <laughs> I think. Well, I I am most certainly. I'm most, most certainly uh, Velma. No, Daphne. No, you're Daphne. You're Daphne. Daphne. I'm, I am. That would make you Velma. All right, I'm Velma. So, hey, Velma. That's <laughs> <laughs> just fine. Velma's the best character. Uh, that you does make sweater, JD man. Scooby, though. Yeah, yeah that yeah. does make JD yeah, we, Scooby. We established that. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm on the other so, side of the country. Leave me alone. <laughs> We love so, you. So uh, the werewolf spends his turn shaking off the uh, damage, and um, he actually runs up the the tunnel away from you all. Okay. Good. Not that direction. Is there uh, anything other than tunnel ahead of us going down? Going down, uh, you see uh, a fork, one sort of larger tunnel going to the left, and a slightly thinner jagged tunnel going to the right okay and it is very dark you see this um only by well do you do you still have your flashlight out yeah well if i'm still holding it i tried to to hold it with the camera in the dark spots we'll say you kept it um so you all have one flashlight to see by JD's a hundred percent a headlamp guy. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if I would have had it on. Okay. So if he hasn't chosen a decision, I'm a gonna dire- I'm gonna say that you had it on purely because I did a tiny time skip at the top of this episode. Um, I didn't get let you all get geared up. So let's yeah. just assume since yeah. I didn't let you all choose, you all have all of your basic equipment with you. Okay. Sure. I'm pretty sure that I established last episode that I had a flashlight. Sure. Yes, um, you did from upstairs. Yes. It was Henry's so flashlight. I, I, have a, I have a taser in one hand and a flashlight in the other and a two in crafts. So. <laughs> Inside joke from downtown. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, Mason, if, you have a flashlight, Darla has a flashlight, and JD has a headlamp. If JD has not already picked a direction at the fork, I would like to shout, everybody left. 
towards the bigger sure. hallway. Um, JD, you ha- you technically are the first to get an action. Mm. Uh, you can act before he he says uh, something yeah. if you want. Yeah. I Am I at the but, fork? But you reach the fork first. <laughs> so I guess it's just, do you pick a side before he declares it? Yup. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Dan has been waiting very patiently. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to point out that uh, Stephen and I didn't get a turn. Yeah. Last time. I think that what was... were we doing? We all expended a turn to run. Didn't we? Yeah, I thought we just ran. You were you were feared for your turn. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. That yeah, explains was... that. <laughs> okay. Because we didn't get it. We didn't actually. Yeah. Get it, it, it's it wasn't my intention, but uh, the fear did hit everybody. So yeah. you spent your turns running. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Okay, so it is yeah, me. I'm gonna. I'm still gonna be running. So yeah. Um, yeah, I'm choosing a direction. Here not we go. Choosing one, just going in one. Okay, what's what's the the rolls? <laughs> That's a good thing to establish. Yeah. Which um, one's left? So uh, whichever one's left is gonna be low. Whichever one is right is gonna be high. All right. Low is left. High is, is right. right. Okay. Low. So you went left. Whatever yeah. left is. Yeah. Going left. Which is what you yell. So. Okay. It's because I, I probably am aware he's freaking the fuck out, so we need some sort of direction. Oh, yeah. Good. That worked out great. If everyone falls suit, you guys are human beings, you get to decide. I'm so, running left. So, yes. Yeah, so, JD, you run left. I'm assuming, Mason, you run left since yes. you declared it. Uh, Victor, you're still terrified, so mm-hmm. for the most part, you just need to go in a direction away from the thing that scared you. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is still your choice whether you're going to go with Mason's If I'm idea. seeing everyone running in the same direction, then uh, odds are that's the direction I'm going to go. All right. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going left with everyone else. Sure. And um, path, uh, lady. Darla and uh, Wolf, you reach about the same time, the two of you, behind everyone else. They have already gone left when you get there. Uh... Well, I'm not fucking stupid, so I'm going to go with the group. <laughs> you don't split the party, you see. Protect our rear bear. Oh, you guys are tempting me so hard. Just go right, just to be a dick. But I'm not going to do that. I go left with everyone else, and I am the bear in the rear. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, you'll always be my bear in my rear. Ba-da-da-da-da-da. That's the show, everybody. <laughs> I'm Candy Valley. Bears. <laughs> all right. Um, well, I'm going to say we're, we're out of combat now. You all have escaped. <gasps> However, you are now pretty deep in these caverns. Um, in your fear and in your terror, you really aren't exactly sure where you are. You probably could find your way back out if you were so inclined. Have a uh, yeah. quick, quick question. Have what you, like, the found fuck me? was that? Yeah, I, I'm going to need somebody to tell me what the fuck is going on. First, first things first, Vic continues running. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. JD's definitely running still. I'm going to say, uh, so yeah, you guys will have to stop your comrades if you want to have a conversation. There's going to be, there's going to have to almost be something to stop JD. Well, I mean, Wolf did yeah. just shout, so yeah, anyway. C- carry on with the scene, Stephen, please. Okay, Wolf, uh, he's literally following Mason's lead. Whatever Mason does, he's just kind of, kind of gonna replicate so if mason's still running he's gonna keep running but he is going to shout what the fuck was that like that is happening (laughs) Mm, i don't think that's necessary for survival right now uh can i uh try and are we still going down is it still down it's leveled off as you took the left the left fork it is it is not by any means like a straight even path but it is to the best you can tell, it is roughly parallel. You don't feel like you're going downhill, and you don't feel that extra pressure in your legs for, that you get walking uphill. Mm-hmm. It's roughly level. Uh, is there anywhere we could branch off and hide, maybe? Like oh, a- yeah. At, at this point, it, the, the tunnel is very irregular. There's You can't tell if there are proper paths you could take or if they're just sort of cracks and crevices in the edges, but there are lots of places to hide here, and... Uh, if you did uh, a little bit of investigating, you could probably find more paths to okay. take. Not right now, I, I say to Wolf. And then, or shout back to Wolf. And everybody, we gotta hide. Let's look for a place to hide. Uh, can I make a roll as well? Yep. Cool. Do wit- I hear him? The wits investigation? Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. The, the noise echoes very much in this space. Okay. And you absolutely hear him. Okay. Okay. Um, wits investigation? Is that what it is? Or intelligence? Yeah, intelligence. 
It doesn't matter. Let's it's go with intelligence thing. investigation. Oh, okay. Okay. I just want to find a good place for us to just hide. Just for the novelty. So are, we, are we all looking for a place? He's just looking for a place. All right. Three for Wolf. Three for me. Looking for, are we all looking Is for anyone a place? Else? Yeah, you're all welcome to roll this. <laughs> uh, yeah, if unless, I heard him say that, I'm probably going to. Uh, unless anyone like directly stops yeah. Vic from running, right. then Vic is going to continue running. Well, oh, dear. I, th- I thought you were running with the group. I he, am running, he is I am behind running. you. You could stop him. Okay. Okay. Uh, if I if we see a good spot, I'm just gonna grab Vic. Just by the collar. Just grab him by the collar. Okay. All right. So, um, Wolf, you find you find a small crevice over um, there. It's a it's a near fit for you, but everyone else could go in. <laughs> is that shade? <laughs> Wolf is well, not is, a skinny man. He's a pale. <laughs> it, it is a character point that yeah. Wolf is a large dude. Yeah. So. Uh, Wolf is gonna squeeze his way in there. Actually, he's just gonna. He realizes, shit, I am a fat guy. So he's just gonna, like, motion for everyone else. If I there. can't get Vic to go that way, I'm just gonna mm-hmm. kind of shove him towards the hole. All right, I think what this calls for is a um, a strength athletics check between Vic and Mason to oh, see if boy, Mason can, oh can physically stop Vic. I'm from not running. very good at that. I work out. You could also, I suppose, you could also try and choose a social role and try and calm him down. Yeah, but I'm, you, I'm much you better to, at that. All right, right, then you can do that. Just be like, hey, dude, chill out. We, we gotta, we gotta get quiet. We're gonna, I, it's gonna find us. You gotta calm down. Uh, should I? How do I contest against that? Well, let's see. If he's gonna roll, probably a what? Empathy, Empathy presence. Presence. Yeah. Then you would do a resolve composure. Resolve composure. Okay. To continue hey, the state you are currently look in. Look at that shit. What a fucking specific thing that Calling I wrote Calling someone down. Hey. <laughs> okay. John actually has a skill specialty in this this exact thing. Yeah, one, two. Does that give him a bonus dice? Three. Yes, it does. Three. Three successes also. John, uh, did you put it in I'm going to give dice? it. Uh, yes, I did. Okay. I'm going to give it to Mason only because he does have a skill specialty. So Fair it enough. is a tie. Yeah. I'm going to give it to him. All right. Works for me. That's fair. Uh, okay. So, yeah, you, uh, you just... Grab. Uh, what well, should we play this out? Yeah, play it out. All right, cool. I'm just, I, I've got. Go. I'm still holding on to you. I don't want you to take off, but I'm trying to look you right in the eyes and be like, "We're we need to hide right now." Okay. Okay. What? What, what do we do? Get in there. Get over here. Okay. Sit. And and he just he just like dives like almost uh, like yeah, like just, baseball slides just, right right in there. Just kind of motioning him towards Wolf, <laughs> and he just runs into Wolf like, "Hi, get in." <laughs> yeah. Just, Darla's gonna sort of awkwardly crawl into this space in her it, like heeled it, boots. Does it appear to actually like go anywhere, or is it just like a little crevice that is like a dead end? You go in, mm-hmm. and it's basically a dead end. There is a sort of small little space on the floor, and it seems like maybe someone could fit in there, but I don't see any volunteers. Yeah. I just like say only it. only Darla would be able to fit. Hmm. Wolf goes in last. Well, I'll I'll go in before Wolf. Um, I'm I'm gonna start. I want to listen to see is just be like everybody quiet for a second, as best as you guys can. Uh, can I listen to see? Yeah, you all can listen. Uh, I will say that Vic is probably holding his hand over his mouth and just like almost hyperventilating. Yeah, got, yeah, I got a handkerchief for this. I'm yeah, basically, I'm basically <laughs> holding my breath. Wolf's gonna put an arm around Vic. Aww. Try to calm him down. I bet it's really warm. <laughs> all right, so you're all huddling. It is, with all of you in there, a very tight fit. It's hot. You're all sweaty and panicked. And this little space feels even smaller with all of your breathing noises echoing and, and crowding into it, filling the air. But as a breath turns into a minute, turns into a few minutes... You all, your heartbeats come down, and silence reigns. Do any of you think to turn off your lights? I don't have if one. If we're, if we're, if, Super if, dark cave. If, <laughs> if, if, if I thought we were trying to hide, I would not yes. have my light pointing out, at the very least. <laughs> okay. JD did it. <laughs> Starla? Yeah, mine's off, if I can. You don't necessarily have to roll. You can decide. Yeah. I don't think she... I don't think she'd be stupid enough to... to Point it out of the cave. It might, it might, be, a, it might be a bit of a headlamp. Like, it's a it's a it's a flashlight, um, okay. like well, a mag light. Um, if... So I think that she 
She probably... Any light's pretty visible. So if you do, any, okay. if she decided not to, I would contest you. Yeah, I feel like she wouldn't think about it. So I don't think she would resist it if you sort of reached over and turned it off. I'd just be like... Okay. Like uh, point okay. your light. Just like kill that shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Turn it off. Hmm. All Nick, right. do you still have your light? I know you're running in a panic. I don't remember if you had your light still. Uh, is it, someone probably would have to like... Yeah, I'm just gonna for him. tap tap and kill your light. And as soon as, and like you, you see like the last thing before, that before his light goes out, you see him just go like, "Oh God, I'm actually <laughs> doing this." Click, and now it's just total darkness. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yes. JD has stuff that doesn't have a lot of light mm-hmm. for looking in the dark for ghosts. I used to have one of those. I like night vision. <laughs> so what? What are you gonna whatnot. use? <laughs> what machine are you gonna use? Well, he has. Um, Heat sensing technology, yeah. that would be a small light. Or he has uh, infrared stuff, which would also give him some night vision. So he'd probably use that. All right. So the infrared <clears throat> equipment that he has is a small handheld monitor <clears throat> with a, a lens in the front. Yes. It's rather short range, but very sensitive. It shows cold as blue, mm-hmm. which fades into yellow and yep. eventually red. Most human or living forms show up as a deep, bright scarlet, and the area that you're presently in is just straight purple and midnight blue. So you flick it on. It takes a few minutes to calibrate and for everything to sort of get going, but as you do, you see a a vague, amorphous, pixelated mess of blues and purples framed by the the slightly quivering forms of your your cast members and crew and um in the absolute pitch black of this tiny crevice silence sort of becomes your world for a few minutes and in that silence it becomes very easy to detect very measured footsteps echoing down the hall And as you all listen and cover your mouths and try to be as silent as possible, it is very evident that they are getting closer and louder and clearer until eventually two vertical bars step into frame and sweep past. And you can make out that they are very clearly legs. As you follow it with your hand, and the, the thing gets slowly further down the tunnel. The infrared camera follows, and you slowly, as he gets further away and the frame gets wider, you see more and more of what appears to be a human. And from the shape of the torso, the shape of the legs, you can infer that it's male. Do we get to see this, or is he... Um. Yeah, I'm going to say in this, it's a tiny, tiny space tiny you're all space. crammed into. Um, you n- None of you can see clearly, but you can all see the screen. Uh, what does the, uh, it, it, does it look like just a normal human or what's the, like? I mean, it's just a, it's just a silhouette on, on yeah. that camera. It's okay. purely a heat measurement. It can only say this area okay. in this shape is warm. Gotcha. So... The form gets further and further away. It becomes smaller until it abruptly disappears as it leaves the thermal monitor's range. And you all remain a few minutes longer. Wolf starts breathing again. (laughs) I'd like to... We should leave as quietly as possible. No arguments. Agreed. Okay. So, uh... I think I established last episode that Darla's wearing heeled shoes. Um, so she's going to really, as, as dexterously in this tiny room as she can possibly do, take off her shoes. I have a, I have a quick question. Did she just run from a werewolf in heels? Yeah. They're, they're, they're like, I kind of picture them as like heeled boots. So it is like a platform heel. So it's not like a, she's not doing the stiletto running from a monster thing. But but that is something that I think I established last time. So, oh boy. So, Play to the fiction. Uh, she got some skills. So, yeah, what she's going to do is she's going to put some, some sort of yoga action in place and, okay. like, pull those boots off um, and then sort of, like, tuck them. Well, I'm holding too much shit now. 
Um, <laughs> Can I hold something for you? <laughs> you want my boots? I, if I notice that she's doing that, I, 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 quiet is really important. If, so if, Vic, if Vic notices this, he's just going to be like, leave them. I'm going to give him a boot as a weapon. <laughs> he, he just sort of like holds it and just sort of like does like a practice whack with an axe, like an axe, <laughs> just like, so as long as he doesn't hit anything. With, with the, the infrared in one hand, he's going to pull the bat off of his back. JD is with the other hand. So that he has something in case something shows up, but he's not. So um, I think all of you need to do. Very confident about any of it. All of you need to do a dexterity. Uh, dexterity athletics. Let's say. Um, okay. The intent of this role is to see how quietly you all can get out of this tight squeeze. May I substitute stealth for athletics? Actually, yeah. You know what? Um, anyone who has stealth, you can use that. Oh, thank but God. you can use athletics instead. You can use athletics if you do not have it. <laughs> I do have stealth. Um, but can... But I'm burning a choose. willpower. I'm burning okay. a willpower on this. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to burn a willpower, I'm very... I'm very I'm, I'm just add, if, if I need to use stealth, I'll use stealth. I have stealth. Oh, thank God. But my athletics is better. Use whatever your best role is. Okay. Uh, I, I got two successes. I also got two successes. Okay. I got... Two, two successes. Uh, I got four successes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Willpower like was worth it. You're stuck in ninja in the night. I also got four successes. Okay. So two is our baseline. Most of us got four. Or two of us got all four. All right. So all of you make it out of this hiding space with notable quiet. No one drops anything. There's nothing but the rustling of cloth and the quiet cursing of people who are very stressed. <laughs> and all of you mm. make it into the hall safely. Okay. And then we're ascending? Yes. However, as you just begin to walk up uh, back to the relative safety of the mental institution, uh, echoing through this tunnel and coming from the direction that the, the warm figure left... Uh, comes a really terrifying female scream. Uh, no. And uh, I need all of you to make an integrity roll, please. Okay. Jesus. Another one. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 cheese Jesus. and rice. Jesus. Cheese and rice. I don't get a freebie this time. Ooh, dang. I did. <laughs> Just one, right? My loins are officially girded. Just one, right? You need. just need one to CC. Uh, I got my two. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Vic is like, fuck that girl. I don't after, care. Yeah. After, after the scare you got earlier, you don't give two fucks about a screaming wolf. <laughs> wolf got three. All right, so none of you have a breaking point. Um, however, you all still very shaken. And uh, how about we act this out? Okay, God, Guys, um, we got to go back. Fuck that. Mm-hmm. We need to get out of here. I'm, There's I'm a just, werewolf in there. She is just, screwed. Who, whoever's not currently moving, I'm putting my arms behind them and gently pushing them up, up, further up, up, out of there, out. We don't, we don't know if it's a trap or not. That could just be that person, whoever the fuck that was. Are, right now, none of us need to deal with that. We need to leave. Mason's right. Let's go. Let's go. There's Let's someone down go. there. Yeah. So the authority we know that already. We can get the authorities to handle yeah. that. Yeah. Well, we can call the cops when we come. We get back up into cell phone range, and they can come down here with a bunch of guys and shoot whoever the fuck that is. Shit. Shush. All right. All right. I'm outvoted. I get it. What are we gonna do, anyways? We're gonna leave. That's what we're gonna do. Let's, we're we're let's still walking, all right? You're all standing. I mean, you Wolf, have... I, I'm, I'm Wolf continues walking. Physically. Wolf continues walking. He can tell he's not going to win this debate. I, yeah, Though anyway, he does stop. Yeah. And you he, see him kind of straighten up him. and his eyes go wide. Guys, we're locked in. What do you mean no. we're locked what? in? What do you mean? Don't you remember that, the door thing? Yeah, the door opens... One at a time. So we can open this side, get in, and then open the other side. I thought it had to be open from the other side. No. Are you sure about that? Yes. Okay, good. Gave myself a it's, heart attack. Let's get yeah, the fuck out of here then. It, it's meant to give the people on either end of the door a chance to stop people from coming in and out. 
All right. So unless there's some PA on the other side of the door that wants to be a dick, we can leave. Fair enough. Incidentally, all of you notice that you haven't seen Henry in a while. He was. He, he nice left us. Henry oh my we lord, Henry's yeah. dead. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought Henry left us before we came. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't think Henry ever came down here. Yeah, he Henry. didn't. He didn't want to fuck with us. Yeah. Yeah, but he also didn't say where he was gonna be. It's true. I, 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 in character, I would definitely assume he just fucked off back to the camp. Oh yeah. We're doing spooky shit. He was not a fan at all today. Yeah. Okay, so Vic, once again, leading the charge, trying to get to that door so that we can all just go. All right. Um. Uh, we're still trying to move slowly. Can I please do an unseen sense when we pass the area where the conflict happened? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it doesn't take and you And look all... for my camera. But yeah, I want to I wanna look down that area. Yeah, can I try to with... do uh, Eye of the Strange as well? Yeah, yeah. With... You all make it there um, without without incident, and uh, you all are welcome to investigate. I would look down. I would just point down it with... All right. What's infrared. What's investigation? Oh, yeah. Three plus Ooh. six plus two, that's eight. I have one success. One more dice. That would be three successes to Dallas. One, two, three, and four, and five already. Just one for five. Judy. For Unseen Sense, and I want to pick up my camera. Just one for Wolf. All right, um, so Darla had three. Did anyone else have more than two? All right, um, so Darla, you don't sense anything um, really immediate, but there is a very intense sort of spiritual pressure almost. Um, mm-hmm. the, the whole area feels energized in a way. Um, it, it doesn't talk, you don't hear anything, you don't feel anything specific, but you can just get the sense that you are all standing in a place of extreme um, concentrated mm-hmm. energy. Okay. Um, so you pick up the camera. Mm-hmm. Um, the camera, incidentally, uh, does give you a further range of vision than your naked eyes do yeah. in this circumstance. And um, in the in the viewfinder of the camera, you notice down this hallway a really strange thing. It it stands out to you. Because it is so out of place. It is the sharp, crisp, manufactured edge of a large metal console built into the limestone wall. Is it where the werewolf came from? Yes. Interesting. Okay. Uh, and then what did... I for the, or unseen sense do. I'm trying to figure out what that other source of energy was, if I could. You know, it, it was human. Okay. Uh, well, taking camera, knowing that, let's get out of here. Cool. So you all get up to the um, the sort of wooden frames of what would become stairs and up into uh, the metal stairs, which you initially came down. And at the top, you all are greeted with the truly disheartening sight of a closed security door. Okay. So we open, open it. Yeah. So that we can get into the intermediate part. Yep. Yeah. So that that clears just fine. You all yeah. get in, close the door behind you. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, yeah. And um and we open the other side. And on the other side <laughs> there is a, a small key swipe with a red light on it. How did we get through it the first time? Was that Henry? That was Henry. Henry let you in. Do uh, Wait. Do we have a key? No. Wait, did he leave us? Yes. <laughs> you all... You I, all... Oh. I... I knock on the door. <laughs> Fucking Henry! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Henry? <laughs> we can, there was glass, right? So we can see... You can see into the, the laboratory, yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, hitting the glass with my bat. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Can we oh see boy. anything on the other side before he starts bludgeoning it? Uh, well, the the bat does not break the glass at okay. first. It is security glass. <laughs> I'm just glass. testing. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just um, I got it. So it, this while he's doing that, can I try and lock the behind us entrance or prevent it from opening? 
And that's when the poison gas comes <laughs> on. Let me let me check. It's a decision, and he's still kind of in panic mode. Um, I have a question. So we'll see. Before you do that, Jenny, no, um, I have a question. He did it. I already um, jerked it. Not so it, this is a pretty small area that we're in, right? Yeah. yeah you all pretty much filled so the whole space. So if he just kind of goes crazy and starts hitting the the, the glass. <laughs> no, well, I mean, he's, just, he's just hitting it once. Yeah, no, no, I'm to saying. To see if anything happens. Do you, do you think he'd have to roll to avoid hitting one of us? Is he I mean, back? at the very least, he could. Yeah, that's what I was it. thinking. Like he's, yeah, like he's spearing he's gonna, it. He's gonna, he's just gonna try to hit it and see if it'll budge at all. Otherwise, we'll have to get down so he can get a full swing. Yeah, there's, there's, well, there's, there's, there's. See if it'll budge or go back the way of the stuff. Yeah, <laughs> there's two options right now, and he doesn't like one of them. The stuff is bad. The way of the stuff. The way, the of, way the of the stuff. <laughs> Going to theaters this fall. <laughs> all right, like, so um. Yeah, you you swing and uh, it it bounces off the glass. It is heavily reinforced. You're welcome to try again. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm I'm I, I could tell that it's not going much of anywhere, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could tell from the impact that's like uh, that's that's not gonna not gonna do much, huh? <laughs> yeah, not much. But so the laboratory on the other side's empty. We don't see any people in there. As far as you can tell, yes. Even with the infrared. Well, yeah. JD's not looking because he's swinging his bat right now. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, doesn't my camera have night you, vision or Your camera has sort of active? green night vision. Infrared is the, the blue and red screen. I was oh. looking with the infrared when we came up. Gotcha. Right. But not now. <clears throat> but but night vision, green green vision, whatever you call it, I, I, I see nothing over there. No. Other than the laboratory, okay. You just see, and granted, your view is limited. You can only see through this window, Mm -hmm. um, which means you can't see a good portion of the room. But no, you don't see anyone in there. And more importantly, the noise of you all banging against this door does not arouse any. Uh, uh, I turn to... Oh, after your turn. I turn to Mason. I'm like, do you have your radio on you? Can you can you radio yeah, him? That's exactly what I was thinking. So, um, start fiddle, fidgeting with the radio to get to channel one, I believe it was. I have it in here. Yes, okay. it's channel one. You guys, I don't think it's going to break. That's fine. If it's, we it's can fine. contact it was, anyone. It was a good attempt. If we can contact anyone, we can get them to come down here with the card, get what's his name, or get a copy of the card. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to turn uh, to, to, to Vic. Hey Vic, can you uh can you keep an eye on uh on the uh the door behind us? Make sure nobody's coming up behind us. Uh yeah, I guess so. You can just look with your eyes, honey. Just look with your eyes. I will look with my eyes. It's dark. Goes and looks with his eyes. While I'm fidgeting with the camera, can I or the radio? Can I hand in my camera so he can see into the darkness? Yes. Okay. You have my camera, so you can see into the darkness. Okay. Uh, does does he notice anything? The, is the is there is the room behind us empty or just like has something changed? Even with the infrared, it's just a black pit. But I'll let you know. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Channel okay. one for crew. Hundred percent. Okay, guys, nothing's changed. You're doing real good, sweetie. Don't patronize me. <laughs> so you call on the radio, I guess. Yeah. So uh, the the standard call would be you know Mason for crew. Mason for crew. Uh, need assistance. Mason for crew? Anyone there? No one's coming, dude. Maybe sound a little bit more, you know. Mason for fucking crew, get off your goddamn bomb pike. In the middle of that, um, walkies can only transmit or receive one thing at a time. So your message is cut off as soon as someone responds. Your message is cut off by just the sound of panicked breathing. (sighs) Would you shut up? Please, please stop talking. Henry? Is it Henry? And does that sound like Henry? Yeah, it, you try to talk, but he does not hear you because the radio only transmits one way and he has not let up on his end. Okay. I'm you, gonna... you just hear him breathing and you hear a creaking of something like he's leaning against it. And then his breathing sort of gets muffled like he's covering his mouth and you hear the same scraping paw, dog-breathing, panting noises that you all heard of the werewolf coming by you. Wolf just covers his mouth. 
I'm just gonna listen. And then the noise quiets. There is an absolutely heart-wrenching moment of absolute silence on both ends of this walkie. And then you hear an ungodly crashing noise, a snarl, and the pathetic wails of the Twinkie and, and... cowardly second AD that you all had spent the earlier parts of your evening with. And the walkie cuts out. Oh my lord, he's dead! Oh my god, we just killed Henry! Okay. So Henry's on the other side of this door. We don't want to go that way. We don't want to go that way. (laughs) We don't want to go that way, but where the fork was... A kid's dead! What other way? Okay. We'll die too if we don't think about this rationally. (gasps) The only way where we know there isn't a werewolf is at that intersection where minute, the thing wait. came out. Did you just say werewolf with your mouth? Did you just say that okay. in in an actual conversation? Is that like what we're? Thing. If you want to argue with a the werewolf? giant furry thing that ripped apart, are you apart... sure it's just not a big ass dog? Yeah, it's a big ass dog that ripped apart hundreds of pounds of stone with but its bare claws. But that doesn't mean it's a werewolf. Sure. Okay, doesn't matter what it is. It can rip apart hundreds of pounds of stone with its bare claws. Let's go the one way we know they aren't right now. I'm going back down. Quick question. I'm going back down. A quick question. Has anything changed uh, back there? Has, has anything moved into frame? No. Okay. I'm grabbing the camera from him as I go Are back down. Are you sure down. it was just a bear? Even though I don't know what a bear would be doing down here. It, it's, it's standing behind us. The bear is right there. <laughs> Steven is not a, a, a physical character. I'm, character. I'm trying very hard to just avoid conversation with everybody and move us out of danger. Uh, um, Will. Wolf. Daryl is not stupid, so she's gonna go with Mason. <laughs> What's Wolf gonna do? I think Wolf needs to make an integrity check. To be honest. Sure, go for it. All right. In character. Yeah, I was trying to stay in character, and you're like, the bear's behind us. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. I forget to do this. He succeeded. He succeeded. Okay. He wipes his eyes a little bit. He's fucking shaken. He's like, yeah, Yeah. okay. Yeah, let's let's keep going. I mean, there's no way to go through here. And since there's no way to go through here, we have to go back down there. JD. Down there. JD. Okay. JD. And he, Wolf puts a hand on his shoulder, like, <laughs> deep breath, okay? Just okay. deep breath. <sighs> yeah, we, we, uh, we can't, we can't let this freak us out too much. I, I understand what we just saw was... <sighs> a little late. Um, uh, very unsettling, but I am not gonna fucking die in a big hole in the ground. So you better get your panties unbunched, and we are gonna go the opposite direction. You hear me, boys? Yeah. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Don't be so loud about it. All right, let's go. Can I fist bump Darla? You know that actually... You absolutely can. I feel like that actually calms JD down. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just roll the dice like, over there. <laughs> You're just cranking out the high lows. It calmed JD down. There you go. <laughs> He's yeah. officially out of high-low territory. The, the st- high-low territory is panicked, JD. <laughs> Quietly again, I'm going to start making my way to that intersection and go towards the console that was in the stone. All right. Uh, I'm following. That, uh, Vic has, feels like he has no choice but to follow. So you all make your way, I assume, together down the fork where the werewolf initially uh, leapt from. Down that way, uh, you notice the tunnels get slightly larger. It's uh, more of a cavern uh, as you get further in. 8, 10, 15 feet, it, it opens into almost a sort of caldera under the ground. And um, you eventually arrive at what looks <laughs> kind of curiously like those um, machines that you charge electric cars in. It's a small metal box with a, an LCD screen and a line of buttons. It is ultra modern, very clean, and stuck directly into the limestone wall of this cavern. Uh, is I there... want to go up to the screen. Is it? Does it look like it's a it's a touch screen? Um, it is uh not a touch screen, um, but it does have a uh, a sort of friendly interface. 
and it says, please present your passcode. When it, it detects motion, the, the screen clicks on and a friendly female voice says, please present your passcode. Mm. Does it have a slot for a key? Uh, it does not have a slot for a key. Mm. Um, the menu reads, um, visitor information, um, call front desk, and assistance. I'm going to hit visitor information. All right, you click one for visitor information, and the friendly female, female voice continues. Please present your vid visitor's pass. If you were not provided with one, please call for assistance. Please present your visitor's pass. If you were not provided one, I click please call for assistance. <laughs> uh, there's there's not really a cancel button. There's just the the button for assistance. I'm gonna put my hand over the speaker lady's voice, <laughs> voice box. Can I can I do a quick pan down the hallway? Okay. Is that... What do you think I should do? Do you think this is? What do you think this is? Hit the help button. Yeah, but what if it? What if it? <laughs> God damn, get the... Is, uh, am I the only one here with the dot and computers? Get, get the what fucking camera off of me, Mason. Right now? Uh, Dude, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die having made some money. Just keep going. Why don't you look <laughs> down the hallway? You're not gonna make okay, any money. Vic, Vic pushes, I need to look at Hold on, wait. Guys! Vic, this time, pushes... Calm down, for fuck's sake. You especially. And he just kind of points at JD. Vic, you're the one who can do a computer thing, right? Yeah, I kind of know. Then try something out, I guess. I don't fucking know. All right. So what are the so what are the options on the uh, on on the screen again? There's not really a back button. It's just asking repeatedly for your passcode. Okay. There is a number pad, and there is um, a sort of green button which mm -hmm. says assistance next to it. Let's hit the assistance button. Shit. All right. It makes a very loud dial tone. Oh, good. Da -da -da -da. Oh, by, she, she was muffling it. My by hand is on the speakers. <laughs> So, so it's a muffled, it's muffled like, shitty dial still, tone. Still very loud. Oh, good. We're getting assistance on a 56K modem. This is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it and indeed it, it puts a touch tone, you know, do, 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 do. JD's going to move over kind of by the door and point down the hallway with his infrared. Does it have a door? I thought it was just a. That's kind of an entrance area, right? Oh. It slowly opened up. Yeah. It opened up into a slightly larger cavern area. Oh. So and how long does it take before assistance actually gets here? It, it, it rings for a really uncomfortable amount of time. And then abruptly it picks up. You hear the staticky noise of, of a receiver that's not yet being spoken into. And then just as quickly you hear it slam shut. And the call disconnects. Well, unless we get some sort of... Uh, okay. I just want to I just wanna let you guys know that uh, that is... A perfectly good reason to panic, but we're not going to panic because we're going to try and find an access code or something else because we're not going to lose our shit because we're not going to get killed by a werewolf or a bear or a big dog or whatever it is. Are you trying to generate an integrity check? <laughs> I'm already, I've already done very well with my integrity checks, thank you. <laughs> so let's find... Let's find some sort of access code. It's got to be here in the cave somewhere. Well, I played Mist. <laughs> well, I, what I think we should do is, remember when we were running from that dog thing or whatever it is? Definitely not a werewolf because no, that let, doesn't exist. Let's just call uh, it a werewolf. No, now. it's a dog thing. Anyway, so uh, remember when we were running from that thing and then the hallway yeah, went into way. two parts at Forks, you know? Sure. Guys remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we went to the left side because that's the side of the where dog was not going in. Just say it. No. <laughs> and and the other side, we didn't see where that went. So maybe there would be an access code or hell, even a door down that direction. So I think that's the way we should go. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing besides the weird box here, so I guess. Shh. But, but, but the, the, the other direction had that guy in it and that lady screaming, so I feel like that's probably a dead end. Thoughts, so. Doctor? Hmm? Thoughts? Thoughts? <sighs> we don't have a lot of options. We don't. All right. Let's head down. It's We don't have a passcode. 
this thing will get us killed. Yeah. So just to confirm, we're going with my idea, right? We're going with your okay. idea, Darla. Okay. okay, cool. Yes, we're going with your idea to avoid the werewolf. Were dog. Whatever. Uh, I'll, I'll lead the group towards towards the, the other. Well, you, um, as it turns out, you don't need to go anywhere because as you all turn away from behind you, you hear... And all of a sudden, you're all bathed in bright, very, very fluorescent light. Ow! Ah. 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 I, I do believe fuck. I wasn't as close to the box. <laughs> <laughs> and then abruptly the light is interrupted by a figure. She's shorter than all of you, even Darla. She's ragged. She's thin. She is covered in dried blood. And she says, What the hell are any of you doing here? Because and that's where we'll end for the night. Oh. Oh. <laughs>Uncanny Valley Cancer Cell is created and produced by Buckle Nagel and Stephen Pope. The players are Garrett Schmigel as Vic, Deanna Venable as Darla, Michael Morris as JD, Stephen Pope as James Wolfe, and John Tompkins as Mason, with Buckle Nagel running the game. Hunter the Vigil 2nd Edition is produced and published by Onyx Path Publishing. Find us online at Uncanny Show on Twitter and www.uncannyvalleyshow.com. Make sure you check out Wild Cards, Experience Pointers, and other Saving Throw Show productions on the Saving Throw Network. And hey, have a good night.